Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany, and as you can see, I already have the wig on my head. Today I'll be demonstrating how I how I tame my high density curly human hair wigs. I'm going to be demonstrating today on this wig from RPG Show. Shout out to RPG Show for sponsoring this video today. Um, this particular wig, I'm going to be inserting unboxing footage and everything on the screen as I am, you know, talking about the wig. So this wig is from the collaboration that RPG Show had with Miss Precious Marie. This is in the style page. I watched her review a couple months ago and I was just in love with how she looked in it. So I wanted to try this eventually. So here are the specs on page. It's tinted, transparent, Swiss lace. It says that you don't need any glue or adhesive to, to apply this wig. It has a pre-plugged hairline, six inch parting space. Natural color, it's 20 inches long. It's a silky texture. I have it in light brown. Uh, the cap size that I have is cap B. So the density, the density on cap B is 200% density. Hence why this video is about taming a high density wig. Um, if you get cap A, you have standard density. So if you're somebody who doesn't like a lot of density with your curly wigs, highly recommend going with cap A. If you're somebody who loves, you know, big curly hair, definitely go with cap B. So I have a cap size two, which is for people with 22.5 inch circumference heads or, or 23 inch circumference heads like I have. So um, they are having a Black Friday sale. So if you use the code BLACK5 at checkout, you will save $80 off of your purchase. And RPG Show, they do have expensive wigs. So if you're interested in this wig, it is an investment. It's going to be expensive. So use that code if you are interested in this wig. Um, so let's get into the application and me taming this huge hair. Now. With my wigs, I always, especially curly wigs, I, I usually always wash them before um, I styled them and everything. So with this wig, what I did, I washed it in, I washed it with um, Garnier Fruities shampoo and conditioner. And then I took some leave-in conditioner and a Denman brush and just ran it through to make the curls start to clump. Now this has been dry for about three days, so I'm gonna refresh the curls just a little bit for you guys, but let's go ahead and try this on. Now because it does have that fake scalp, I don't need this wig cap on, but my braids are not fresh and my hair looks a mess underneath, so I'm not gonna do that. But with the fake scalp, you don't need a, a wig cap. This wig has lace in the back, so you can like wear it up in a ponytail. But with my wigs, I usually never wear my wigs up in updos and stuff. I might do a half up, half down style every once in a while, but usually I don't get into hardcore styling with my wigs. That's just not what I do. what density is. <laughs> I don't know what density this is but it has like all the density so this is what it's looking like there's the pre-plucked hairline right there I'll show you guys the fake scalp that is the fake scalp there you can part it anywhere you want to but I probably I'm probably gonna wear mine as a side part this is some full hair. This is not gonna, this amount of hair is not gonna work for everybody. So keep that in mind. With human hair wigs, you can always, you know, customize your density and all that. But this is laying pretty flat to my head. We might get away with not using any glue, but we'll see. We're gonna start with this water bottle here, which is my Flarisol like continuous flow water bottle. I know a lot of naturals use this because you don't have to keep going like this. You spray it like one good time and it, a lot of water comes out. So I wanna wet, it, wet this down a little bit. And if you watch my channel, you know I don't like super like wet looking hair. 
But sometimes the water does, you know, it helps with molding the wig to look like you want it to look. And I'm just gonna use some leave-in conditioner. Now the leave-in conditioner I'm using today is just what I have on hand. The Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-in Conditioner. You can use any that you have on hand. And I just do, this definitely like starts to define the curls and make them pop a lot. And I'm just gonna put, ooh, I'm trapped it on my, on my pants. Concentrate it on the ends. And just use my Denman style brush. This is from the brand Andy, I think, but use a Denman brush and just make them pop. Now, if this was dry, it'll just make it poofier, obviously. olive oil uh, wrap setting mousse just to further like flatten some of this because this is they use all the bundles in this week it's so full So it is laying really, really flat once I adjust the strap, especially in the front. But now on the sides, it is lifting, but this part is gonna be covered. So I'm just gonna tuck that part in. It's not even gonna be seen. And over here, this part might need just like a little spray here and there. But this is pretty flat, actually. Just make sure you adjust the, the bands on there. this wig this water I used a leave-in conditioner and I used a little bit of mousse I used the mousse to kind of smooth it down at the top but I did use a little bit of heat because it was a little bit puffy up there so if you <laughs> if you go with like a high density wig by accident or it's just too much hair you can tame it because um, it still looks very full it's just not as poofy it looks a bit it looks a lot more manageable now that I added some product to it. Um, but this is human hair, so throughout the day, just like with natural hair, it's gonna poof up, you know, depending on, a, on the humidity and everything outside, but product usually can help with, slow that process down a bit, so. As far as this wig goes, I do think that this curly texture is gorgeous. The hairline is actually pre-plucked, and you don't have to wear a cap with your wig, but I showed you guys that my hair underneath I told you guys that underneath this wig, my braids are jacked up. So now, as far as it being no glue, if you tighten up the lace, you don't have to use glue, especially at the front, but on the sides. If you're gonna be wearing this as a side part, you're probably still gonna need to spray it down just a little bit. It's not gonna be a ton of work, as it shouldn't be a lot of work because this is a very expensive wig. But um, yeah, you don't have to do too much gluing and stuff with the hairline to make it look natural because they did do a lot of work for you. The only con that I would have with this wig is the density. Hence why I made this video of how to tame a very high density curly wig. I prefer, I do actually like big hair, but sometimes high density curly wigs, it's just too much. So I would prefer and would recommend people go with a standard density because it's a lot it can be a lot so even though i'm probably gonna be showing you guys high density curly wigs like coming up soon people do have full hair like super full hair 
but I think I would uh, prefer to wear something that's less dense than this on a daily basis. This is 20 inches, but it has been sprayed down and stuff. I'm six feet tall and this is where it falls on me. So, if you are interested in this wig from RPG Show, you can head over to their website and, you know, purchase it there. Shout out to them for sponsoring this video and shout out to you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Uh, click that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so, so you'll be notified every time I do uploads. Um, I have a ton of videos coming up for you for the rest of November and coming into December. So make sure you have your notifications on so you don't miss premieres and all that stuff. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.